welcome to The Power Source. I'm your host, Christy Given. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the importance of partnering with the Holy Spirit. Today, my special guest is music legend, writer, composer, TV host, author, and more, Pat Boone. <laughs> welcome to the really? show. Really? Quite Pat. an introduction. I knew I was gonna be talking <laughs> to a Christy today. That was a given. Oh. And, uh, meh. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome to meet you. Good finally. to meet you. It's so great. I was just so expectant to just hear what you have to say through through your career, through all of the journey that you've had on this earth. The Lord has just graced you with so much. And he has. He, he and in fact, looking back here, I see uh, I did see a younger Pat Boone, and that's more like I actually look now. But it's been sixty years of a career in the, in the flaky entertainment business. Right. Hardly anybody lasts that long, and I'm still around. Elvis has been gone 30 years. Right. He and I were friends, competitors, friendly competitors. He's been gone, wow, it's close to 40 years. Yes, and I love Elvis too. And I, I often wonder, what would Elvis be doing now today? Uh, would he still be doing like me, still performing and very active in many things? He and I both started out in Tennessee he was born in Tupelo, Mississippi, but I was born in Nashville. Uh, actually born in Jacksonville, Florida, but raised in Nashville. So we were two Tennessee boys. You, you asked me once about that prayer I prayed up in the attic when I was just a teenager. Because uh, actually a lot of the folks who watch this show are much younger than I am. I, I'm told that. I, I'm just intuiting that. Is that right? You know, we have a mix of our audience that watch, but I'm sure anybody you know, that tunes in is going to know who you are. <laughs> I don't know. And admire you for, for the legacy you've left, not only in the music industry, but in God's kingdom. And I really believe you're a one of a kind, a rare um, example for God's glory. And just you allow the Holy Spirit to move in your life. You you listen and you and you love people and you You've impacted so many lives through your ministry, through your books, through TVN, through through your music. And so I just want to acknowledge that. And, you know, what they call in Hollywood would be a, a, a musical legend, really, is who Pat Boone is. And that, that usually means you're old you're, and still doing it. Well, you're, it's <laughs> such an honor to be here today with you. And I want to ask you, for those that are just tuning in, maybe you could highlight one of your favorite accomplishments or one of your most memorable songs or films. Like, what is what do you think is the highlight of your career? Like, what was the most, what really, like, put you on the map? Was it a song wow. or well, a film? Wow, well, it had to be a song uh, because I was going to be a school teacher. And, 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 and in that moment, I told you about praying for God's guidance when I was in high school. And I, I thought he wanted me to be a school teacher, an right. English, English teacher, and maybe like my English teachers or teachers in a Christian high school in Nashville, perhaps a located minister too, because I wanted to use my life to influence the lives of, of other young people. Right. I thought that's the most uh, beneficial thing I could do with my life, so I was going to be a teacher. But I loved to sing, and I'd been singing around Nashville, a very musical town, for several years and I didn't ask for any money and I could sing the current pop tunes and everybody likes whatever the current pop tunes are. And I won a talent contest, the Ted Mack Amateur Hour, wow. which was the forerunner of American so Idol. Cool. To, it's like American Idol really? today. The viewers voted the winners each week and I won three weeks in a row. That's incredible. And it was and wow. I didn't expect that to happen. And then I won another talent contest, another national contest. And, and that led to a recording contract. And I, I was still in college thinking I'm going to be a school teacher. And this other stuff is just, uh, you know, some things that happened in my early life, wow. but which weren't going to lead to anything. But the recording, the first record I recorded was a song called Two Hearts, Two Kisses, a rhythm and blues hit by a group called The Charms cool. on the Dutone label, which doesn't exist now. Wow. And, uh, and, and it was rhythm and blues. And, and we called it rock and roll. And rock and roll, there was no rock and roll when I first began. Yeah. It was Elvis and me and a few others who were recording rhythm and blues and calling it rock and roll because the rhythm and blues songs weren't played on pop radio. 
So I did this song. One heart's not enough, baby. Two hearts will make you feel crazy. One kiss will make you feel so nice. Two kisses take you to paradise. Two hearts, two kisses make one love. Well, that song, improbable as it may be, it sounds like it's written by Ed Sheeran today. Yeah, I was going to ask, did you write that song? <laughs> but it was a top 10 million seller. The next record was, You Made Me Cry When You Said Goodbye. Ain't that a shame? Wow. And that was Fats Domino. He, he, it was his record originally, but it was just rhythm and blues. I recorded it. He would sold 150,000 of his number one rhythm and blues record of it. I sold a million and a half of my version of his that song. so crazy. And he loved me for it. And I did a whole bunch of rhythm and blues songs all the while thinking this is just a crazy episode in my life. It's not leading to anything. Right. I'm still going to be a school teacher, preacher. Yeah. yeah. But I did have to transfer from uh, North Texas State. I, I, Shirley and I had married at 19. We now had our first child. We, I moved to New York so I can take advantage of the opportunities of these hit records that are happening one after the other. But I transferred to Columbia University because I was still going to get that college education. I was still going to teach school, I That's thought. Great. And I graduated in 1958. Uh, I was on the cover of TV Guide in my cap and gown because I had started the Pat Boone Chevy showroom the youngest guy ever to have his own musical variety television show. First 21, then 22, then 23. So I graduated at 23 on the cover of TV Guide because of that TV show, but also some hit records, also three movies, and four kids. Wow. Shirley and I had four kids, and you open up the TV cool. Guide, and there's a picture of me on the cover, but inside there's Shirley, my wife, and four little girls. That's so All cool. of this at age 23, it was... You Absolutely, a lot at such a young age. You know, I realized it wasn't me doing it; it was God. And it, that's what I want to go back to because one of my favorite conversations with you is when we spoke on the phone before the interview, and you just shared about how, when you were a little boy, um, you know, you prayed to God and asked Him to use you. Mm -hmm. And I really believe that you've tapped into the true power source, and you made the Holy Spirit your partner, you made Jesus your partner, you made the Father your partner. So why do you think? Um, that's so important to, to, to do that and, and not run to other sources mm -hmm. and, and explain your testimony of how you became a believer. Well, I fortunately was raised in a Christian home. That doesn't make you a Christian, of course. Right. But I did read Matthew 10, 32 when I was reading through the Bible in our family devotionals. My dad, a building contractor, mom, a registered nurse, two very practical professions. But we, for us, our church attendance and involvement right. And reading the Bible was just as practical as, as those two professions. So when I read Matthew 10, 32 about Jesus separating sheep from goats on a day of judgment, and that when he says to those on his right, enter into the joys of the, your Lord, and the ones on his left into eternal destruction, I thought, man, this is why this is so important. That day is coming. I want to be on the right when Jesus separates the sheep from the goats. I want to be with the sheep. And so I made my confession of faith wow. at 13. And my belief in Jesus, I was baptized. Something happened inside of me. A new, you know, I wasn't an old Pat Boone, but a new Pat Boone <laughs> had begun. Oh. And it was influencing me right through high school. So that, as I was looking toward high school graduation, wondering what am I going to study in college? What do I want to do with my life? Right. I was in an, up in the attic. I had claimed the attic, just unfinished attic at our house out on Lone Oak Road in Nashville. Up till then, I shared a bed with my brother, but I wanted my own place. And so I was upstairs in the attic praying, just talking to God and saying, Lord, I want you to use my life. Guide me. What, what do you want me to do with my life? I'd like it to be useful to you. I'd like it to be somehow beneficial to a lot of young people like me. What will that be? I mean, I wasn't thinking of being a singer. But God heard my prayer, yeah. and uh, and so within a, I'd say within two or three years, less than three, two years after I was on my knees in that attic praying, my life had taken the most unexpected turns. I had wound up marrying Shirley. We moved to Texas, won a talent contest. I was making records, and a whole singing career wow. had begun. And I knew that wasn't my doing. 
I knew it was God answering the prayer of that kid who meant what I was praying. And he says, I know your heart. I know you're a singer. You want to, you'll sing for me if I give you the chance. And you chose to partner with the Holy Spirit. You chose to partner with the Lord. Yeah. But there's so many sources nowadays. So, you know, this show's called The Power Source. And I believe in, um, mm. you know, the scripture, John 15, 5, I am the vine, you are the branches. Yes. He who abides in me will bear much fruit. Exactly. For apart from me, you can do nothing. So what does that mean? It doesn't mean there's not people on earth that are successful or not successful because they're not plugging into God's power. But when it says, apart from me, you can do nothing, it means you won't have lasting fruit. Mm -hmm. What's the fruit? The fruit of the Spirit yeah. and the fruit of winning souls. And that's what you've done. You've won souls. Well, I always say, I appreciate your saying that, but I, God's won souls using this flawed instrument, me, <laughs> because I do love to give my testimony. I've done it in music. I'm in the Gospel Music Hall of Fame, so I've been singing to and for and about the Lord wow. for my whole rock career and pop record and movie and otherwise entertainment career. But I've always been focused on the Lord, so God uses that. And even my, my position or my fame or my success as an entertainer to attract people to, well, what is it that makes Boone tick? Why has he been so successful? He's not the best singer in the world. He's not the best looking guy, but he's had... He's had hit records, he's made hit movies, and he's had a gigantic, successful career. What is it? And I've had many entertainers ask me that. Really? And even say, you know, I used to kid about you. You were so square, you were so religious, you were, you know, you were never on the front page of the Inquirer or the, you know, the Globe or no scandals. And yet here you are. I mean, you're not what I consider commercial, like a, uh, somebody that breaks all the rules is commercial. But you're still successful, and, and, I, and I've got to tell you, I, some of these, these entertainers who were critical of me and, and, oh. and ridiculed me have said, you know, you, I've got to hand it to you. Something has been happening in your life that's made your marriage succeed, wow. your family, your kids. Right. Uh, and, and I tell them it's this word. But this Bible, this is not just a Bible. This is the one-year Bible divided into 365 uh, 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 readings. Some Old Testament, some New Testament, some Psalms and Proverbs. Wow. Actually, but I want to, to read the scripture that I want to share with young people here today. And, uh, and I had it all marked, I thought. That's all right. <laughs> but now I'm having to look for it. A lot of young people, they, you know, they don't really understand the person of the Holy Spirit. And they don't know why it's important to partner with God. And that there's, like you said, there's two sources. Yeah. So, I think what you're Kids talk today, about we all are intrigued with the supernatural. Yeah. And, and unfortunately, so much of it is the dark side, and there is a reality in the dark side of the supernatural. Yeah. Demons, there are no zombies. There's no uh, people coming back from the dead uh, and to haunt people. But there are evil influences in the right. unseen world of the supernatural, and people like to dabble in that. That's true. But the reality, the biggest reality, is on the light side. God is light. Yeah. But here's what I wanted to read in, uh, in Job. There is a spirit within people, the breath of the Almighty within them that makes them intelligent. Now, you were just talking about partnering with God. How would you like to have God, who created all things, as your partner? That's what happened in my life. He became my partner as I trusted him with everything. But get this. This is for today's reading. If God were to take back his spirit and withdraw his breath, all life, all life would cease and humanity would turn again to dust. What you get from that is God breathed life into the first man, Adam. And the Bible says, and man became a living soul. He was created out of the dust of the ground. He was a good looking man. I'm sure he was created in God's image, but he was lifeless. And then God went, breathed into him and he became an animated living being. Jesus in the upper room after his resurrection breathed on his disciples, leaned over them, and I like to feel he's doing this in my morning devotionals, breathed on them and said, Receive ye the Holy Spirit, the breath of life, which, by which God created all things. And in Colossians it says he sustains all things by his power. Yeah. 
So if we are dependent in the super, supernatural world, and we're living in a supernatural world, if we're dependent on the breath and the very Spirit of God, it behooves us to be willing to take of His breath. Right. I've recorded a song, I call it Breathe, and it's in my legacy album, my last, perhaps last album. And uh, I, I begin my morning devotionals that way, and, and I, out of it came a song, just breathe, breathe. Spirit, breathe. Spirit of the living God, breathe, breathe. Uh, breathe in me, living word. The, the Greek word for breath is pneuma, but it also is translated spirit. The Hebrew word for breath is ruach, also translated spirit. So when man breathed, God breathed into that first man and he became a living being. And Jesus breathed on his disciples and he said, receive the Holy Spirit. The same thing was operating, and it's available to every one of us today, young and old, and preferably young, who want to live their lives as God can bless and God will lead, mm -hmm. because that's the way to the best, most success. That's the way to the ha most happiness. It's a way uh, to make your life really worthwhile is to let God use you, and He uses you by His Spirit. And I urge people to just say, hey, Lord, breathe your spirit into me and I'm going to breathe right now and I'm going to take not just air I want to take of your holy breath your spirit Amen. breathe into me and when that happens and you do that and you mean it he says okay I'll breathe into you over and over and over and by that leaning into him and breathing his breath he can guide our lives into things like in me in my case I thought I was going to be a school teacher he right. said, "No, you really want to be a singer. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to he make you. I'm going to make. Heart. Yeah, I'm going to make you a singer." And he did. And yet, I'm going to to fulfill your early wish and your prayer to be useful in the lives of other young people. Wow. So he's done that, and I didn't do it. I just let him do it through me. It's beautiful. So, what if there's somebody watching right now that wants to receive the the baptism of the Holy Spirit? Could you maybe pray to the camera, like pray over them? And I will. On the day of Pentecost, which was when the first people were baptized in the Holy Spirit, they learned through the teaching of Peter that he, they had crucified the Son of God. And they were pricked in their heart. It says they, they became convicted. You mean I have destroyed my bridge to eternal life? Yes, what should we do? And Peter said, repent, be baptized, Call on the name of Jesus, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit that you see operating all around. So that's the formula, it's, if you want to call it that, a formula. Believe in Jesus, the Son of God. Say, I need you, Lord. I, I cannot make a success of my life on my own, but you can do it through me. I want you to. I want you to take over my life, and I will be baptized because Jesus was baptized. He wants us all to be baptized in water. And I want you to fill me with your spirit. I want to receive the baptism in the Holy Spirit. The baptism is like water baptism. It is immersion that is being filled and overtaken and, and, uh, and immersed Amen. in water first and then by His breath, His Holy Spirit. It, not, it sometimes is a very tangible, supernatural thing. Other times, like in my case, I didn't feel anything when I first asked the Lord to right. baptize me in the Holy Spirit. Well, do you want to pray over the yeah. viewer? Just if you look in the camera and just say a prayer, we'll join in with you and they can receive the Lord and then we'll, we'll close the program. Well, this may not sound religious and it's not because I'm not, uh, uh, I'm not quote religious, but I have a relationship with God. Most people, when they say religion and use that word, they mean some some organization or some building somewhere or some doctrine. No, we're talking about relationship with the living, breathing God. We're living, breathing people. And I'm just going to talk like I'm talking to my father. Father, you've been ruling in this situation. You've given us the opportunity to talk to people who are questioning, who have legitimate questions, but who are also curious and seeking relationship with the living God. You are our Father. You are creator of all things. Now, as each one says, I want to, to be part of God's supernatural world. I want to have a relationship with God. 
And so, Lord, I ask that you hear each one, that as, as he or she makes this prayer and this request and this invitation to come in to him and her, you will come in and make yourself real. You say you, when, that, when you are given that opportunity, you will come in and make your abode. You will dwell, live and dwell in that person. You did it for me, Lord. Do it for this person who's now about to ask you to enter their very being and to become their Lord, their Savior, their God in the name of Jesus. Fill them with your breath, your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. And I wanted to ask you, too, if you have any recommendations. Like, I know you've written some books about the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And is there anything that they can find resources? Or obviously the Word of God is the true source. But do you have any other things that you would want to share about that? Well, sure. I mean, I want to really recommend. I didn't write this, of course. This is the one-year Bible. And, and I read it, try to read it every day. And if I get behind two or three days, I catch up. But... It's incredible to come to the end of the year down to the very end of December and realize you have read the whole Bible beginning to end. Right. And I've done it now over 30 years. Wow. And it's always fresh and new. So I recommend that people get the one-year Bible. If you want to read something I've written, you go to patboon.com and we have a number of books. One was called Pray to Win, God Wants You to Succeed. Another is The Miracle of Prayer. Uh, and, and another is, uh, the, it was a million-selling, best-selling book, Twix 12 and 20, wow. while I was still in college. Wow. The number one non, I didn't mention that to you in the beginning of my career. Wow. But while I was still in college, making movies, records, and all that, I had the so first cool. ever million-selling gospel album called Hymns We Love, and I wrote a book for teenagers called Twix 12 and 20. I didn't want to use the word teen because it was already being commercialized. Right. And so I did it with an alliteration. I was going to be an English teacher, Twixt 12 and 20. And that book sold oh, three or four million hardcover copies and then went into many languages and millions more soft cover. So that's still available. Although I will say the problems that young people had in the mid-50s are not like the problems young people face today. The answers are still the same. And uh, in all of these books that I've written, I always emphasize what we just did. Um, make God your partner. Make God your Lord. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid. He wants you to be happy. He wants you to be right. fulfilled. He wants you to be successful. He wants you to prosper and be in health, right. his Bible says, even as your souls prosper. Your souls prospering is the first priority. Then all the other things, Jesus said, if you seek first his kingdom, yeah. he, he wants you to have everything else there is. So true. He'll pour it on you. But first, he wants to pour it in you. Amen. That's so powerful. Thank you so much for coming to the show today and just letting us be here and just being a part of what TBN's doing and Juice TV's doing. And I know you're no stranger to TBN. No. And um, you've had, you know, um, you have a big tour coming up in Israel. Is that right? Yeah, it's, it's in, uh, in May of next year. We're already talking about it, promoting it. I'm going to take 500 to 1,000 people with me. That's beautiful. To Israel, and I've, I've hosted other tours, as many That's as uh, 1,200 people once. But uh, I won't try a group that large this time, but I'll be doing concerts in Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, wow. and in the amphitheater in uh, Caesarea, beautiful. from dating back to Roman days. And we're going to do a TV special while we're there, taking Dino, the great pianist, wow. and, um, and, and a couple other American performers, but we'll also feature some top very popular Jewish performers, That's Israeli amazing. performers. And I think, well, we don't know yet which network it's going to be on. Wow. But, but it's going to be my finale. I'm, I'm going to try to wind up. I'm telling people I'm on my last go-round. Right. Everywhere I appear these days, and I still do concerts, I'm saying I won't be back. This is it for now. Great knowing you. Glad we could get together. Wow. But, but I'm going to wind it up next May with this trip. To Israel. What an honor to be here with you today. And the dates for that, if people want to find out, it's May 9th to 18th next year. So find out information at patboon.com. And where can they find you on social media at Pat Boone? I'm on Facebook and um, the Pat Boone, because there's only one. There's only one. You said something about being unique. Yeah, not many people would really want to live my life, but uh, in many ways it's been great, but very complicated and busy. But 
justpatboon.com. And if you, I think I'm the first and the only entertainer to have a free app. Really? Yeah. If you just go to App Store and download Pat Boone Music or Pat Boone Radio, I'll sing for you 24 hours a day. I'm going to download that it's one. It's my records free. That's amazing. And I guess the reason that other performers haven't done it is because it's free. And I, I will say, if you hear a certain song you like, and it's a huge diversity of songs, right. and with pictures and captions I wrote myself, and it's it's just a free app, Pat it's Boone. It's incredible. And if you hear a song you like, you can click up on the left hand and go to uh, iTunes and, and download it if you want to keep it. So crazy. Otherwise, you can just let me sing for you all day long, free. Beautiful. Well, you guys, make sure you download the Pat Boone app. Make sure you guys comment below, subscribe, continue to just plug into God's power, into the power of his word, into prayer and fellowship and community. And may God bless you guys. Thank you so Amen. much. Amen. And thank you, Pat. God <laughs> Enjoyed bless it. you. Thank you.